capital. Delhi's air quality continues to be still under very poor category. Just weeks ago, parts of Delhi's air reached 969 AQI. So this is how a morning in Delhi feels like. You wake up, you cough, there's a sore throat. Every breath you take right now, you're smoking 20 cigarettes. The sun looks like a pale circle, the sky isn't blue anymore. The PM 2.5 level has crossed 400 and we have just normalized it. We check AQI just like the weather. Oh, it's 350 today. Chalo, it's manageable. As per WHO, anything above 300 is hazardous. This is a health emergency. It's toxic air. But in India, we just call it poor air quality. And this dystopian look that you see behind me, it's not just Delhi. It's Lucknow, Kanpur, Mumbai, it's every Indian city. The air around us is turning into slow poison and most of us don't even realize this. So the question that has to be asked is, why does this happen every year? And why is no one talking about it? And most importantly, how can you save yourself? This is Pratik, you're watching DW Explains. We'll answer all of that and from this, where do we go? <coughs> now we got air purifiers from 3000 all the way up to 45,000 to see if air purifiers really work. Because on Amazon, people sell purified charcoal bags, anti-pollution plants, nose filters and whatnot. But before we get to this whole air purifier thing, the most important question is, is the air pollution in 2025 that bad? We have been covering air purifiers for about 5 years now and we have seen PM 2.5 level go to 1000 plus. Well, the real problem is, if you go to akia.in and scroll down below, 2025 has been the most polluted year compared to the last 5 years. Well, the PM 2.5 level hasn't risen to 1000 plus, but it has stayed consistently at 400, which is even worse. Just like our physical world has become too polluted, our online world is also filled with, let's just say, things you don't want to breathe in. And that's why this part of the video is supported by Surfshark VPN. Think of it like an air purifier, but for your internet. Now, fair thing, we have been using Surfshark VPN before they even approached us for this video and two reasons why you should use it too. Number one, Surfshark VPN works on all popular websites like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video, Sony Live, etc. seamlessly with good privacy. And you can even unlock content from other parts of the world that are not available in India. Number two, these days, even for generating one image to converting a doc to PDF, every website wants you to log in. So there's this new option called alternate ID. Next time a website asks for sign up, you can generate a temporary mail or mobile number to sign up on your behalf without giving your original mail ID or phone number. Surfshark VPN is available at a never seen before cost and you get unlimited device access. You can just go to surfshark.com slash techwiser or click on the first link in the description and use the coupon code techwiser to get four months extra off. Also, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no harm in trying. Now back to the video. You might have a question, well, why does Delhi suffer from such bad air pollution? Well, geography. Delhi is geographically surrounded by hills on three sides. Like, imagine Delhi to be this bowl. On all the sides, this is Aravli Hills, and Delhi being a plain is now lower and acts as a pit. Now, if I create smoke inside it, and during normal seasons, normal winds just blow it away, and now the bowl is clean. But in winter, since the air is cold, a layer of hot air forms on top, which is this lid. Now, even if I blow, the wind cannot take the smoke away and this creates Delhi as a gas chamber. Now, a good question will be, why does this smoke happen? Well, this is because of multiple factors, stubble burning, vehicle pollution, construction, and at times, firecrackers. But then again, Pratik, if it's a Delhi problem, well, then Delhi people fix it. Why do I care? So, ta-da, bye-bye, like, share, subscribe. Well, hang on, that's the biggest myth. If you see the top polluted countries in the world, there's Pakistan, Bangladesh, and then India on third. And this cannot be because of just Delhi. In fact, if I go through the world's most polluted cities, I can just keep scrolling, it's all India, there's Padiala, Gorakhpur. In fact, the air in Kochi has become unhealthy. The AQI is crossing 150, it used to be 40 five years ago. Also, Mumbai has faced the worst pollution ever. The AQI is now crossing 300 plus. Construction is now halted inside the city. The BMC has imposed grab food. As per WHO, AQI above 200 is a health emergency. That's a different fact in India is just poor air quality. Right now, we are facing a health emergency. And I understand every developing country faces this problem. Even China was going through the same problem five years ago and it's now solved. 
but until that happens we need to take care of ourselves now we have tested these air purifiers for months now some of them we have been using for about two to three years in fact we were the only ones to make videos on air purifier five years ago now before we get to the best air purifiers that you can buy in every price range there are three important things you need to know about air purifiers number one do they actually even work like random youtube channels and even websites quote that nasa in a study claimed that plants can clear indoor pollution well we got this big gas chamber fill it up with waste and smoke just like normal pollution turn on the air purifier and the air purifier cleared the smoke within 5 minutes so air purifiers do clean polluted air but then what's such a great thing about it well the nasa experiment people quote is this was the plant that they used it had an electric fan and motor inside to clean the air second the experiment was done with plants inside a box about the size of a refrigerator so that report is way overstated don't fall for that a lot of people also ask if i get an air purifier my immunity will go down i'll fall sick when i go outside in the pollution see air pollution is like radiation you should not go out for jogging or walk minimize your time in air pollution and air purifier in the room will at least ensure that you get good quality air at home plus it does nothing like that to immunity you will not become an alpha male by inhaling polluted air so stop going outside when there is pollution number 2 air purifier works in a closed room in order for air purification to happen you need to close the room the air purifier takes in polluted air and then throws it on the filter to generate clean air from the other side so over the time an air purifier will replace the polluted air in the room with fresh air but see if i open the door now the polluted air will keep coming in and see the pollution level on the air purifier just rises so in order to get a proper air purification you need to shut your room now next up is filter life and cost see every air purifier is simple it has a filter at the bottom and a fan at the top the most important part is this filter now if you go on amazon you will see hepa type air purifier hepa like air purifier only buy true hepa air purifiers and hepa filters also have categories so prefer h13 or h14 air purifiers only these are the latest one and more efficient in air cleaning also these hepa filters have a life like let me show you this one see how black it is i mean imagine this on your lungs now do not wash this hepa filters once you wash them they go waste and here is the filter cost of every air purifier that we have used in this video from cheap to expensive and these filters have a life of about 6 months to 12 months depending on how frequently you use them now one thing that you should seriously note for this air purifier is just 1 year old and the company has stopped selling air purifier or the filter so now this filter or this whole air purifier is just use and throw buy air purifiers from a reputed brand who have been selling for more than 4 to 5 years do not buy from cheap or newer brands because they'll just go missing not sell the filter and then this entire thing will be e waste Now just like these scams there are a lot of gimmicks on Amazon like wear a nose filter it didn't work when we tried last time just wear a mask then there's this locket from Amazon it promises to be a personal air purifier and work for you now let me explain how this locket works now i made a plane out of the tissue paper you can consider this to be pm 2.5 particles and now if i launch it it just flies in the air and it can basically go anywhere with the wind and now if i hit this plane with water drops oh, now no matter what i do it will not fly <laughs> it just lands down i had a joke but i'll keep it to myself this is what this locket does the pm 2.5 particles in the air are very light hence they can float and go anywhere it shoot ions making the pollutants heavy and then they fall down but the major problem is see we created a smoke in this glass the locket air purifier couldn't just clean it second this has been tested to work only in a chamber so you cannot take it and wear it outside in the open third if you can use it at home and it costs 3 to 4000 just add 2000 and get an air purifier it will work for everyone and it is much more efficient and better now with that out which is the best air purifier to buy well to test that out we created smoke in this room this is a normal sized room like any other indian household about the size of a bedroom we raised the pm 2.5 level to 500 to 600 then we ran air purifiers one by one to see which brought the pm 2.5 level to the lowest now before we get to the winner and the ranking of all the air purifiers there's something we need to talk about 
Now, if your budget is under 10,000 rupees, there are three options. First up, you get Cubo Q200. It costs 6,990 rupees. Now, three things you should know about this. First of all, this comes with HEPA H13. That is the minimum filter that you should get. And if you see the HEPA H13 filter inside the purifier, it has a carbon filter on top of it and also a pre-filter. So paper or hair just sticks to this pre-filter and then you can clean it off with a brush. The pre-filter increases the life of the HEPA filter inside. Also, the carbon filter helps with the smoke. I mean, now, the Cubo Q200 also comes with app support. So, suppose you want to turn on the air purifier for an hour before you reach home, you can do that through the app. So, when you reach home, the air is fresh, you can do all of that from the app. And remember, regardless of AQI display that you see on the air purifier, please run your air purifier at full speed for one hour first and then leave it to auto mode. This indicator or this PM2.5 level that you see on the air purifier is highly inaccurate. Number three, the most important part while buying an air purifier is CADR. So, see, the CADR of Cubo Q200 is 150. Just multiply the CADR by 1.5. It will give give you a rough room size estimate. So this Cubo Q200 will be good enough for a room of about 225 square feet. So this is good for a smaller room. Also the filter cost of this air purifier is around 1500 to 2000. Now at the same price, if you want something for a bigger room, you can also get Agaro Royal Air Purifier. As you can see side by side, it is bigger than the Cubo Q200. So due to the bigger size, the Agaro one can cover a room area of around 300 square feet. The rest, it has all the app support, HEPA H13 filter, pre-filter, etc, etc. Next up, if you raise your budget slightly to around 10,000 rupees, you get the Xiaomi Air 4 Lite. This is what I've personally been using in my bedroom. It's about a year now. I really love it. I look at it and take deep breaths. Hold on, let me show you the fun part. So I've used it for a year now. I've not changed the filter. And this is how the air filter looks after about a year. You need to clean this with a brush. Wow. Imagine this on your lungs. And leave mine aside, this is the condition of Minal's air purifier's filter. He had to literally scrub off the dust and this is just one to two months of usage. God bless Dilly. But leaving all of that aside, the most important pro here is you get an AQI display. It shows you real-time AQI level of your house. I mean, it's good to see the mode and number quickly over here. But do note that AQI level below 100 is pretty accurate, but it does not go above 400, so don't trust that. The next good thing is it supports a room of up to 450 square feet. Like even in a master bedroom, this has pretty good coverage. Now the thing is, the filter cost is slightly expensive at three and a half thousand rupees. And remember, this cost will occur every year or two years, depending on your mileage and usage. But Xiaomi has been selling the air purifier and filters for about five to six years now. So the filter availability and all of that is pretty good. Rest you get app support, Alexa and Google Assistant support is also there. So all the fancy features you get, that is here. Now, if you move to a slightly higher price, you get this Kobe Air Mega Aim. It costs about 12,000 to 13,000 rupees. Now, Kobe is a South Korean company and they make fantastic air purifiers. In fact, this is the ranking of our air purification process that we did in the bedroom. Kobe was easily in the top three. It could bring down the PM 2.5 level to under 50. So first up, you get this fan type look. See, you can actually tilt the head of the air purifier to 90 degrees. It also auto oscillates for faster and even air purification in the room. Now, two things. This doesn't have app support. There's no PM 2.5 reading display it's only color coded in fact most of the Kobe air purifiers don't have app support they are very minimal you do get a remote which you can use to operate the air purifier number two it has similar coverage of about 400 square feet but Kobe air purifiers come with seven years of warranty that's the highest on this entire list now the air filter cost is slightly higher it is about three and a half thousand rupees so if you have a bigger budget and room this thing is absolutely worth it now, if you want something for a bigger room or your hall, there are two options. There's Kowave Air Mega 150 and Xiaomi Smart Air 4. Now, Kowave we have covered in one of the previous videos. It's very good. It's very efficient. You can get that. Now, the Xiaomi Smart Air 4 is meant for a 500 to 600 square feet room. It pretty much has the same features as Xiaomi Air 4 Lite. But as you can see side by side, it is bigger in size. Hence, it can cover a bigger space and a bigger room. Also, it makes slightly less noise as compared to the Air 4 Lite. So, that's a pro. Next, if you go 20,000 and above, which frankly doesn't make a sense for a lot of people unless you have a very big space. So we got this Smart Air Blast Mini. Now it has no fancy features. There's just a knob on the behind to increase or reduce the speed. It takes in polluted air from this side, throws it onto the filter and gets the purified air from this side. The only feature that it supports is, it supports a room of up to 1,000 square feet. It also has wheels on the bottom so you can carry it anywhere. So it just does the job for our office space. So if you have such a big space, or you want something for a thousand square feet space you can get the smart air blast mini this cost 35,000 rupees it's more of a commercial air purifier the filter will be available for years and you get better support and 
frankly we needed something for the office we wanted everyone to be safe and healthy so we got this next up is dyson tp07 it cost 40 to 45000 rupees not worth it first of all dyson doesn't mention cadr number they believe it's a flawed system so no idea how much big of a room this can clean it does have app control though by the way this is also a bladeless fan so you can control the fan speed and all of that now we also tried a dyson air purifier before which costed about 25000 rupees this does nothing different than what a xiaomi air 4 can do the whole thing is this is a fancy air purifier which is also a home decor item so if you want people to come in your house see dyson and be like this is one ducking witch guy yeah sure of course it's dyson bro so just to summarize, if you have a budget of six to seven thousand, get an Agaro Royal Air Purifier. Around ten thousand, get Xiaomi Air Four Lite. For most people, this is the best. If you have a bigger bedroom, get Kove Air Mega Aim. If you want something for a hall or a bigger space, Xiaomi Air Four or Kove Air Mega One Fifty are great options. For commercial space or huge studio room, get Smart Air Blast Mini. And I hope the government works and fixes this air quality but this air pollution issue is India wide and it will stay like this for the next 2 to 3 years. I want other YouTubers also to make videos on this topic. It at least creates awareness and ensures you guys are safe and healthy. Because for India to do bigger and better things, we need a healthy youth and society. If you have any questions regarding air purifier, do let us know in the comments. We'll answer all of them for the next one hour. Anything for you people on that note, this is signing off. See you in the next video. Pew pew pew. Thank you.